Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba and welcome to the Dive Brief. Now it's almost June, so now is the time where I start to run through all the interesting things that have been released over the past month. And May was quite a good one with plenty of interesting bits from the industry leaders, uh, such as Aqualung, Fourth Element, Cressy, some new designs from Hollis as well. So let's jump straight in with Aqualung. May saw the release of the Aqualung Aquaflex wetsuits in both men's and women's 3mm and 5mm wetsuits, which are a super stretchy neoprene, hence Aquaflex. And these are in a new grey and black colorway instead of just a straight black wetsuit. You get a bit of style so that you stand out quite nicely in and out of the water. We were also introduced to the Storm Max fins, which are kind of a beefed up version of the open heel Storm fins, but made for diving with boots. So if you're in the market for a compact pair of fins, uh, ideally for travel, but you don't want to go barefoot, then of course you have the Storm Max fins now in a range of colors. And finally from Aqualung we have the Helix Regulators. The Helix basically replaces the core range which were a mid-range budget-friendly regulator and the Helix has very similar specs and designs. Um, it's a touch heavier uh, but only by a few grams and now it has the kind of ratchet style front cover to match the new Legend Regulators. There's the Helix and the Helix Pro. The Helix Pro has additional features for diving in colder waters and the ACD, the auto closure device system to close the inlet when the regulator is depressurized. May was also a big month for Fourth Element. May saw the release of their Tech Fins, which completes their 2022 mast fin and snorkel range, uh, which is smashing it so far at the moment. The Tech Fins is a familiar vented fin style with a new Fourth Element twist to it. Uh, the first being zero packaging. Uh, the fins don't come in a bag or anything. You just get a strap with a bolt snap to, uh, to hold them together and that's about it as far as packaging goes. And the fins themselves aren't just a carbon copy of the original designs, just with the fourth element logo stamped onto the foot pocket. These actually have a new bump down the blade itself, which was inspired by marine mammals to help to reduce turbulence. So very clever stuff. Then we saw the RF2, which is a thicker freediving two-piece wetsuit for diving in colder waters or just longer dives. High-waisted trousers and a beaver tail top pair together to cover you from head to ankles in open cell neoprene with an integrated hood and a smooth outer layer on your head and your shoulders to help you slip through the water a bit more efficiently. And finally, we saw the release of the Halo AR, which is the successor to the Halo 3D dry suit undersuit. Halo AR is meant to be the warmest yet thinnest dry suit undersuit by using space age materials and extreme insulation material are gone um, in key areas over your body so that the, the Halo AR is one of the warmest undersuits and one of the thinnest at the same time. So you have a low bulk, low buoyancy undersuit, which is just as warm as anything else. And that's, that ticks every single box and it's just what you want in a dry suit undersuit. Using Fourth Element's body mapping, Insulation is where you need it to be and the suit is flexible where you need it to be as well. And the entry zipper runs around your chest instead of straight down the center. So you have consistent insulation over your core. So it's very, very clever stuff. With Cressy, we have some more free diving gear. Uh, two fins, the Cressy Gara Modular Impulse and the Gara Turbo Impulse. Both long fins for free diving and they're a part of Cressy's Impulse free diving range with some clever little design features and tweaks compared to traditional fins. Both fins are great for really any level of free diving if you're just starting out or if you're fairly advanced already. The Turbo has an S-shaped undulating deformation, which basically means that it's stores up more energy during the fin kick and then puts that back into the propulsion instead of just losing that energy. The modular has a aggressive 29 degree angle blade and the rondine or swallow tail tip to help reduce tracking and both have side rails down towards the tip of the fins to help prevent water slipping over the sides of the blade. The blades themselves are a little bit longer 
uh, compared to most traditional fins and the CompoFlex material is virtually impossible to break accidentally. From Hollis, we saw the new range of backplate BCDs with modern new designs and tough materials. There's the ST, uh, which stands for single tanks, and the DT for double tanks. They both have the 2.04 millimeter thick stainless steel backplate, which is very tough and practical. You've got lots of new attachment points with a decent amount of weight to it as well. And the standard harness is a fairly traditional two inch webbing harness with some shoulder pads and more D-rings than you can shake a stick at. Um, the ST Elite is very similar in the wing and the back plates, but it has a sized adjustable harness with a bit more padding. If you want a BCD that's a bit more comfortable and a bit easier to put on and adjust, and of course take off after the dive. But it is quite nice to see the telltale red and black of Hollis back at dive sites after the change of ownerships a few years back, and we're starting to see some new designs starting to come through. And finally, we have the new BCD from Apex, the Exotech, which all but sold out in the first week here at Simply Scuba. Exotech is sort of the replacement to the Black Ice BCD, which I think has finally been retired after years of being one of the most popular wing style BCDs out there, thanks to its tough and resilient design. And Exotech has taken that and improved it with a strong but also light aluminium backplate with a unique articulating hip section called BioReact that lets the BCD bend and twist with you, along with grip tech material that holds onto your body so that the BCD really does move with you and feels very natural. Now if you can find one in stock in your size then buy it before somebody else beats you to it. The orange version sold out in just a few days here at Simply Scuba. We still have a handful of the gunmetal grey in stock but if you're umming and ahhing then trust me just, just get it before someone else snaps it up because these are quite hard to get your hands on. And that's about it. Um, we had a thousand different Billabong rash vest designs for men, women, kids, uh, as well as some Roxy rash vests and long sleeve swimsuits, uh, Quicksilver also, some new stuff from Heli Hansen, plenty of new stuff. Uh, if you head over to the new in section on simplyscuba.com, um, for all of the new things though that I've spoken about, I'm gonna pop links down in the description below so you can check them out. And you should have seen some cards popping up in the corner from time to time, uh, but I only get five of those. So, uh, so I couldn't add every single item. I just put the heroes up there, but all of the links to everything that I've spoken are gonna be down in the description below uh, on this video. Or if you hop over to simplyscuba.com, we have a search function just so you can find it there. If you can't find it, then it's probably sold out already because uh, these, these are all very cool, very uh, popular products. Right now if you subscribe to our instagram as well that's why i tend to post where new things arrive on the website as they arrive and when they're back in stock uh, so just search for at simply scuba and you should find us thank you for watching everybody that's it for this month and safe diving